Hello and welcome to the Titus Time Out podcast. I'm Jenny Abney Civy, and this week I'm going to answer the question, what is a sectorizing baffle? So if you look up at your ceiling, chances are pretty high that you'll see a four-way blow diffuser like a TDC or maybe a circular pattern diffuser like an Omni or a TMS. So I'll draw a TDC here, and a TDC is a louvered diffuser, so you look up and you'll see several layers of louvers. So it'll kind of look like that. And then we'll draw a TMS for the circular pattern diffuser. So the air pattern of the TDC comes kind of like this out of four sides. And then for the TMS it comes in a circular pattern or kind of a squared off circular pattern. But here the airflow comes out from all sides and even in the corners. And then over here on our four way it comes out from all four sides. So what happens if you need to get in solid diffuser against a wall or something where you only want it to go in several directions? So let's draw an office and up here is your ceiling and you've got a TMS diffuser installed. And along that wall is a person who is sitting at their desk. Or in this case, it's a stand-up desk because they're really healthy and trying to get fit. So now your airflow would come out in this direction, that direction, and across the ceiling like that, but you don't want it to come hit this wall and come down and then dump it on the occupant and make the occupant uncomfortable. So how do you get a three-way blow diffuser? So let's draw two airflow patterns again. Here's our TDC and its airflow pattern, its four-way pattern and our TMS and its circular pattern. So how do you turn these airflow patterns into something that looks like this in green? Well, there's a couple ways you can do it. If you get a TDC, it's fairly simple in that you can buy a three-way blow TDC. So it would look something like this, where the deflectors go off in just three directions and then this and then the section shown at the bottom would be against that wall and you'd have a three-way blow diffuser. But you have to know that this is what you're going to install before you go in so you can put it in. Otherwise you have to find a way to take your normal four-way blow diffusers and turn it into a three-way blow diffuser. And that's where the sectorizing baffle comes in. So the sectorizing baffle looks kind of like a piece of pie and let's draw the back pan of our diffuser here. You would actually take this piece of pie and attach it to the neck of the diffuser and then that would block off this section of the diffuser and leave only this area around here open for airflow. And then you get an air pattern that would look something like this. So they're attached to the neck of the diffuser and painted black so you can't see them from the room. Um, but one thing you need to remember is that if you're blocking off a quarter of the neck of the diffuser, you're going to increase your pressure drop and therefore increase your sound and the throw of the diffuser. Different diffusers will perform differently, but for example, in a TMS, let's put this up here, pressure, and C and throw. If you put in one sectorizing baffle, your pressure will increase by 8%. the sound will increase by 4 NC, and the throw will increase by 20%. If you put in two, so now you've blocked off half the neck, you get 28% increase in pressure, a 9 NC add, and 50% longer throw. And now if you put in three sectorizing baffles, you get an 88% increase in pressure, a 17% increase in, sound, in NC, sorry, a 17 NC increase, and 120% longer throw. So you can see that you'll definitely only want to use sectorizing baffles if you have to. It's always better to select the diffuser that meets your application and room layout up front. So that's how sectorizing baffles work. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and thanks for taking the time out with us.